Hello, this is Dr. James, and I live in the free country of America. This is a country, well, it's actually the whole world. Uh, you can't talk about um, a lot of things on the internet, even though we're all free. We're all free, right? Like, uh, for instance, um, you know, I had a lot of my videos taken out. My first video was taken down. I was talking about internet censorship. It was right about a year before this phony coronavirus came out and uh, they, they took that video down, they deleted it and they threatened me and um, then since then it's been like a, they've come out with all these algorithms to censor everything you say it, 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 computer algorithms listen to what you say, it has voice recognition they have optical character recognition, they, they uh, see everything that um, is written in text on your screen and they censor that and you're not allowed to talk about this. I mean, I was talking about, I like to talk about, um, b before this phony crony, uh, JWO takeover of the world, which is a totalitarian communist takeover, uh, using a phony virus to, uh, as an excuse for them to seize all sorts of powers and, uh, violate people's human rights, take away your rights to your own body. Uh, b before that, t to me, the, I thought the biggest threat to freedom in this country was, uh, courtroom corruption and uh, the crooked courtrooms do all sorts of things that are really terrible. Anyway, I, you can't talk about that. You can't talk about that before, and now you can't talk about, you know, that, that thing that happened in New York City with those two towers that were brought down with controlled demolition. You can't talk about that. You can't talk about uh, uh, these phony uh, school bang-bang uh, incidents where nothing really happened. It's just a big lie. And... Uh, the truth will set you free. There's, there's so many things you can't talk about. Just about everything's censored. So, uh, okay, fine. I'll just go along with that. So I, f I figured I'd look up my favorite song because uh, there's a song kind of making fun of NASA because they've, you know, they use some sophisticated equipment to fake their spacewalks. And um, it was, it was making fun of that. Sometimes they get caught because they're dropping stuff in space or you, their zip lines aren't... Uh, etched out with their fancy computer programs or there's bubbles and this and that and I just wanted to look the song up and it was gone I mean I did a search on Google I, I remembered about you know you know 20 lines of the lyrics and uh, they wouldn't find anything very strange so, so let, let's uh, see if we can uh, look on the dark web and, and find the information that if, if you're disgusted with the, the level of censorship that we have now in this country, in this world, uh, like I am, maybe we need to uh, look someplace else other than uh, Google or these other search engines, YouTube, that seem to censor everything that doesn't go along with their disgusting political agendas. Let's see if we can find something better there. We'll check out the dark web. Okay, so I'm running Linux, but I imagine that they probably have these same browsers on um, uh, Windows operating systems if you like to you know, support Bill Gates and the evil things he does, like these genocide injections, controlling all your computers and spying on you and all sorts of other rotten things. Anyway, no political stuff here, I guess. Let's uh, let's go here. We'll go to the uh, Ubuntu uh, Software Update Center, and um, I guess let's see. There's a way to do a search. Oh yeah, it's up over here. So you go up to the top, and we'll do a search for the Tor Tor browser. And there we go. That is it. I do believe. So let's try installing that. Okay. And we'll see if we can find something a little bit more interesting on uh, the dark web than we can under the, what I should call the censored web. I remember the dark web, is a lot of people, you know, have a, some negative connotation or they, they stereotypes, they, they think that it's um, a place where you do crime or something like that, but uh, it's just a place that's not, I guess, as censored as, uh, as the regular web. It's, it contains more information, 
You know, I, I think that um, I would rather have more information and, and filter out what I consider to be the bad stuff rather than having a big brother filter out what they consider to be the bad stuff and spoon feed me what they call the truth. So um, I like to uh, make my own decisions about what's going into my brain. And uh, I'm, really, I'm really disgusted with everything that's going on right now. Anyway, let's take a look here and see see what this is all about. This should be interesting. Okay. So it looks like Tor is installed. And let's see. Is it on here? Oh, there it is. The Tor browser. What is this? Launch settings, huh? Oh, okay. Save and exit. I don't know what that was about. Oh, install Tor browser. Okay. Well, okay, so it's downloading Tor for the first time. Oh, there we go. Here's our Tor browser. Okay. Tor browser routes your traffic over Tor network run by thousands of volunteer tiers around the world. Say so always connect automatically. We'll try connecting. Ready to explore privately? I wonder if I can find my song again. Fake space station song. I don't remember the name of the guy who sang it, and now everything has been scrubbed from the internet. So you can't find anything on Google or any of the other... Oh, there it is. Look, it comes right up on tour. Puppet Show, that's what it was called, because this has been completely scrubbed from the internet. Okay, so it's really strange, because the first time I found this song, I saw it in one of the uh, uh, videos that was talking about uh, NASA faking stuff, and I remembered a portion of the lyrics, and I typed it in, and it came right up on Google, and that was like a year or two ago. And now I rem listened to the song a lot, and I remembered about like 50% of the lyrics, and I typed it in, and it doesn't come up with anything at all on Google. Isn't that strange? Because Google is supposed to give you the best possible search for those words. The best, right? And it, it's just like taken out of Google. So this is on YouTube. Uh, oh my god. This is so weird. So anyway... I think I finally found what I was looking for, though. And this this would not come up on Google or tried Bing also and some other search engines. And uh, they're all censored. Puppet Show. Music Guru. Okay, that's the song I was looking for. Anyway, might be able to find some other interesting things also on the uh, dark web. Let's just look at dark web let's let's make a new link uh, okay there we go the dark web 
Anyway. Okay, just to be fair, let's uh, open up a Google Chrome window and we'll do a search on the very same words. Let's just copy and paste this. Copy and paste. And look at this, nothing. In fact, I even did something where uh, I typed in about 50 of the lyrics. Here, we'll go down here. Fact checkers, debunking this, oh, music in space, all oh, a bunch of garbage. See, the Google, just a bunch of trash now, it's just complete censorship. I mean, it's supposed to give you the best search which looks like this one does, the uh, Onion does, or the Tor, Tor browser. Anyway, let, let's try, well, I'll show you what I typed in, let, let me type it in. Okay. Okay, here we go, look at this. This is what I did a search on. Let me tell you something about the space station. It only exists in your imagination. That thing ain't real, it's science fiction. It's here to feed your space addiction. I can spot a lie from a hundred miles and I can... Anyway, it's about half the lyrics of the song. It should come up with the song and it will come up with nothing. Look at this. Eyewitness, this and that. Bob Dylan. What does that have to do? I, I never say anything. It's outrageous. Uh, 1619 ship disappeared. I mean, if I typed in the lyrics of any other song, even like 10 lyrics it would come up with it. This is obviously being shadow banned, right? Anyway, so you, you can't even say anything about NASA fake in space, which is something that blows my mind. I didn't want to believe that at first. Made some videos and people were really upset about that, but you know, I mean, sometimes, you know, when you're searching for the truth, it's you're not going to be popular. I told someone before, you know, uh, best way to piss someone off is to tell them the truth because nothing makes people more mad than the truth especially if they're in denial anyway and I was in denial about a lot of things I'm always trying to learn new things you know I tell someone someday uh, maybe when I unlearn all the lies that they taught me in school my whole life I might become a smart person someday and uh, maybe if I have access to uh, more honest information like on the dark web then um, maybe I can be more effective at searching for the truth. Because remember, you know, uh, if you believe everything, if you're one of these uh, zombie mind control puppets of the government, or if you disbelieve everything, it's like the goats and the sheep. They're really both the same. You know, if to disbelieve everything is the same as to believe everything. To find the truth is is something that's the narrow path in between that's that's hard to walk anyway hopefully this helps you out help and find the truth that you're looking for okay okay here is some more interesting facts let's take a look here what uh, DuckDuckGo has to say about Google what does Google know about me by the way did I tell you Google was run by the CIA made a video about that, but YouTube deleted it. They censored it. Uh, not only does Google keep your uh, search history forever by default, they track 75% of the top million websites. Very interesting, huh? So this can, uh, by using the dark web, DuckDuckGo, you can uh, maybe not be tracked by Google so much. Anyway, just another interesting tidbit. What's the difference between using DuckDuckGo and incognito mode? Oh, they tell you that Google is still tracking you even if you push the button. But DuckDuckGo is completely anonymous. Anyway, 
entering uh, the regime of 1984 and this phony crony virus. Uh, Big Brother's watching you. Keep that in mind. The FEMA concentration camps are still sitting empty. The re-education camps of the future. 